Alrighty, down here in the field, got Grumpy Trev with me, and uh, this is a little bit of a different intro, I guess, to our happy flying. What we're going to do, we're going to, I'm going to go through the processes of how I sort of set up where I find some nice lines or nice tracks to fly around with, because I feel like I've set a ton of tracks up in my day. Setting up tracks is my favourite thing to do, so uh, we're going to jump in. I'm going to show you some, I guess, HD footage of flying around, and then I'm going to talk about, you know, finding those lines and sort of making a really nice flowy course that's fun for pilots to fly around on. All right. Let's do it. Alrighty, so this is Happy Flying number 26, and I guess this is how to set up a, like a nice flowy racetrack for po the pilot's going to actually enjoy. And we're out of the UAV Futures test track, and I thought, what better spot, what better environment to go through the process of how to set up a new track? Because we've flown the UAV Futures test track to death, so I thought, you know, let's try and find something else. So the first thing you want to do, this is sort of the whole process, and, and just a little bit of a warning, if you don't like longer videos and you want some of those short, snappy videos, this happy flying might not be the one for you, because this is going to take a little bit longer than most of the other ones, because it's, it's a whole process. So if you want to learn how to develop a nice flowy track that pilots will like, definitely keep watching, but if you're just after some entertainment, something short, snappy and exciting, this video is probably not going to be for you. Anyway, so I'm flying around here and I've just, I've spoken to Trevor and I said, you know what, I'm going to get one pack and I'm just going to fly around some random lines, see what works, what doesn't work. And you can see here, if you've watched any of the other, I guess, flight videos at the test track, a lot of this stuff is different. So coming into this turn, this one I've done quite a few times, but I'm going on the outside of the trees. And I'm just trying to find what works. You're trying to find what turns work with what, you know, what trees line up with what other trees. What lines work with other lines. Where's the best spot to exit a line? Where should you enter a turn from? All these sorts of things. So that part there, I've never turned left and gone around those trees ever. And I thought, gee, that kind of lines up with this part out around the back. And I thought, that's probably something that I want to do. Let's see if we can work that into some sort of racetrack or, you know, some sort of race course. So flying around here. So this is where I've sort of started working from. So I've done this entry point. I know through the trees works just here and it looks really cool. And then I thought, okay, let's hang that left because that seemed to work quite well. Bit of a gap. And then I'm going to shoot straight across the field and sort of go around the back, around the back, out the side here. And I'm thinking, gee, this is working pretty well. It's nice and flowy. The speed's going pretty well. Let's put another little turn in here. And then, uh, yeah, we sort of ended up doing a bit of a figure eight. And then I think the whole process was just about refining it. So we had three gates. It seemed to be flowing pretty well, so that was probably the best part, the, you know, a really big piece of advice. Is there any chokes? Is there any points you want to change or anything you want to take out? Because in my opinion, there's nothing worse than a really great track and then you get to one section and it's just a little bit awkward or it just doesn't really work. So what I'm doing here, you can see this was actually Trevor's genius idea. I was, I was sort of calling out saying, I feel like we need a gate about here. So, you know, Trevor was pretty intuitive. He really picked up the, picked up the gate and ran over. And then we'll have a look at what, then I thought I'd practice that line a few times. So he's putting the gate down. He said, all right, Stu, try that. And that's the beauty of those pop-up gates. So uh, I just keep, you know, you know, then I kept trying to hit this little part. So we set the gate up. I go through it once and I think, yeah, that's, that's not too bad. And then I think I float around a few more times and we hit that line a few, a little bit more just to see if it's working. And then once you've got that part down, once you think, you know, it's, that's, a, you know, it's so easy to move a gate when they are these pop-up stops. But yeah, that was pretty good. And I thought, you know, I can move on to the next part of the course because we only had three gates this day, even though I had, you know, I left a lot at home, but I thought we'll just take out three to see how we can design a cool track. And that was a bit of a long straight. And that's when Trevor sort of ran over and I did a bit of editing there. Thanks very much, computer. But uh, Trev ran over and we thought we needed one right at the end there as well, just to make that flow a little bit better because it's a bit of a long straight and you want, you want your track to be exciting. So when you're flying around, you can see I'm going over here to practice doing this line. So it's sort of coming along this way. This part, there's not really too much between here and then finally this gate. So use gates, if there's no trees or anything like that, use gates as some bit of an obstacle. And you can see I'm sort of going around that corner. And then I also thought, you know what, we probably need another gate about here because that was really flowy in that turn. You could get some nice, really, I guess, on the power the whole way around. I think that would feel really good. So then, of course, what's Trevor doing straight away? Thanks very much, Trevor. You know, I should buy him a beer. He's, uh, you know, he picked up that gate. I'm still practicing the course, and we're really trying to design something here. So then I think we're getting pretty close. I'm flying around. There's that long stretch. So if I had more gates, I would definitely put them out here just to make that a little bit more interesting because you want a nice, interesting course without any chokes. And then uh, I think I can see Trev setting up the gate right there. And this is when I was trying to give him a little bit of a... Uh, sign language with my quad and I was trying to say you know you need to move this over just a little bit and that's why it's so important too to sort of fly it a little bit first because it only takes one or two meters to have a gate you know the, this way or that way and it can really affect the flow so if that gate was there that would have been really really difficult to hit but of course Trev got the hint 
He moved the gate and then we thought, right, let's practice this now. Let's see how these three gates line up all together. So you can see coming across here, this is that, that middle, the second one he put up. This turn was quite nice and graceful and you could lay the power on the whole time. Seems about right. It's easy to see into this figure, sort of the middle figure of eight, and then you're ready to rock and roll. So I think I do one more little lap and uh, just to sort of see how it's going. And this is on the chameleon frame. And then I think in a little bit, I switch it over because uh, it was time to review the Cerberus anyway, and then uh, we see how it goes on the Cerberus. So overall, with these three gates and some new lines, I missed that one there, uh, and you're getting a little bit of speed, you do want to practice it with some speed as well, because you're going to get faster and faster the more you do a little track. But I think this is a really good little process to set up a track that's nice and flowy, and uh, you're probably going to enjoy, and you're going to be able to get some really good laps on. All right, so we've got the basic track set up with three gates. It's pretty fun. Let's uh, rip some packs. So that's pretty much said and done. So uh, in this one, we're flying the Cerberus around. So we're gonna do the track. The sun's gone down a little bit. I've put a few packs in. And I guess this is the end result of a nice flowy course. Probably had about four batteries on here. And it was just a really nice, easy way to set up a track. So I'd love to know some of your guys' tips. You know, what do you use when you're flying around? How do you set up a track? Uh, and did you find this video useful? I know it was a bit long-winded and a little bit longer than some of the other happy flying videos that I do. But I do think it's a really great process that I wanted to share with you guys. So hopefully you got something out of it. Definitely hit that thumbs up button if you did. Uh, subscribe for all the, you know, subscribe for more FPV related content. And as always, happy flying and enjoy.